not the best start when you come up to a boiler and you see one of these stickers is it and we've got an ideal logic plus here that we had to um come the other week and put a do not use sticker on uh, the reason being i will take the case off and i will show you so the logic case is screw there normally a screw just there click click and off now with that case off you've just broken the seal to the boiler only gas safe registered engineers are allowed to work on gas boilers okay if you haven't got a gas safe registration you should not be taking the case off the reason we turn this one off is you see the white round here and this starting to appear here the sums cracked on him now it's a very early stage on this one i've seen them a lot 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 worse than that around the other side as well it's a bit of white um yeah it's cracked some so what we're going to do is get this one replaced so let's get you off normally what happens is you'll take this off tilt it and it'll siphon all over the floor oh we're gonna get lucky here all right let's gonna put that in the sink so obviously we've got to replace the sump um but i'm gonna show you how to do it because the way that i do it i've managed to do one of these in 13 minutes not a brag not a brag i'm just saying ideal sumps are not as bad as what you think they're going to be because on the surface oh my god am i going to get that out they're not as bad now this is a real job and real customers there so i do apologize for the camera work in advance i'm literally going to show you how to do it in a real life situation real board real house it's our classroom this is you know what happens in the real world so apologies from the offset but let's get into it let's see how, um, how we get this sump out next step you want to take off these two screws here and this will just release the manifold this bit here because we need to get that out of the way start putting your screws somewhere safe down there will do get that off turn your pair off i should have done that at the very start 10 bulldog points if you spotted that mistake lift up pull forward down and that's the flu to it manifold out the way all right next up we are going to turn the gas off which is this gas cock underneath here oh my god which is stiff there we go all right now we've got the gas off let's get the gas valve out of the way so we've got nut there undo that nut here at the top let's get you out of the way do then slacken the nut just underneath this nut here slacken that that's out of the way pull the electrical cables off top one's undone bottom one's undone nut out of the way and it should slide forward and out and that's the gas valve out next up the igniter just gonna pull that off Pull the electrics off here. There we go. Little earth lead just at the top here. And pull that off. So what I'm doing, disconnecting everything from this frame here. Now, we're going to do screw here, sc screw there, screw there. That will get that out of the way. go i'm just putting everything I'm trying to be as neat and organized as possible all right now got some good access now to this sump if you've got the heat only the only difference between the heat only and this one is the connection at the bottom on the heat only it comes out the side and on the heat only you haven't got none of this in the way it does make it a little bit trickier on the logic to do but not impossible all right next all right. step see these lugs here all right just get your screwdriver behind there snap close your eyes as you do it just in case it smacks you in the face snap that one and there's another one just here you want to get in behind and snap that one there you go see now we've got the front out of the way your pump connection here take that off get that out of the way as well now We've got the front off there will be two screws one just at the back here 
very hard to see on the camera. Just slacken it. Do not take it all the way out. There you go. Slackened. Screw that. Slackened. This will just allow the heat exchanger to come away a little bit. This is the fun part. I'm going to get where am you? my little toffee hammer. All right. I said, you haven't got to be gentle here. So what I'm going to do is get that underneath. And you'll start snapping the back lugs. So underneath that. At the back as well. Back one's stuck on. There you go. And that is one sump all out. Back lug, that is snapped. Normally that back lug snaps, but there you go. Well, if it all broke before, it's definitely broke now. Now, what I should have said was, make sure you've got the right sump before starting. Which I did. That's why the box is open. So that is for the, the combis, because the entry comes out the bottom. Like I said, the heat only comes outside. These come out the bottom. Comes with a gasket and washers, new sump cover. So let me show you how to get this new one on. And with a new sump, get some silicon grease. I'm just going to put it around here. Won't hurt the washer, it's silicon grease, don't worry. This will just help it go on when you're trying to push it up at the back. Which you'll see in a minute. It's, one, it's the hardest bit to do is get this one back on. But once you've done a few, it ain't that bad. I'm also going to put silicon grease around here as well. Now it won't slip back out just because you put silicon grease on. Them latches there, once it's on, it is on. So the hard part, let's get this into position. So you just want to angle it down and around. And we've got to try and do is get the back on first. So you see how we got it angled like that. Got it angled down, we're going to line it up, and I'm just going to push the back up. You'll hear it click. You might not hear it on camera, but I'm waiting for the for it to click. I will try and keep the camera as steady as I can. It is hard though, because I'm trying to work, and it's around my neck. that click it's one I've only got the one side in now I'll try and get the side out there you go so I've got two clicks now I know that the back's in heard it all click and the front here there you go and that's it and what you can do is get your hand rub it around the back you can actually feel the lips like the lip of the heat exchanger and the lip of the sump they are perfectly married up just like the arm at the front there. So you'll be able to feel like that at the back. All the clips are on. There you go. That is one sump. All in. I don't think my coffee's cool enough yet to drink. How long that's took. I'm saying not a brag. Just saying once you get used to them, they ain't as bad as what they look. Right, next step. What we want to do is get our gas valve back in. No, we don't. We need to get this plate back in. Other than that, the gas valve's got nothing to sit on. So, plate at the back. You see this bit here? There's a little groove just behind the fan here. It'll slide into that so you know exactly where to go. Then it will line up with the holes here. So we want to get our screws that we put down earlier. Oop, nearly. It's the shorter screws. Don't try and do the longer screws. And now, just tighten that up. Let's get the other screw in. There we go. All right, electrics. So, on the electrics, you've got four pins here. All right, see so if you can see them into that. So, you've got four pins here. The electrics go on the very left. There you go. That back in now. Put your put your earth cable on first because it make it easier. You ain't gonna see that on camera, but earth back 
on there than that back onto there there we go lean back out there we go all right gas valve before we put the gas valve in we're going to replace them washers so it does come with two new washers that one looks fine that's a rubber one that will deteriorate i think you do get a new one should we replace it i haven't disturbed that one so that one will be fine yeah because we have disturbed that rubber one we'll just replace it because we have got one so that can go gas valve back in sideways that nut goes underneath the lip pop that on late drop off i meant to do that not make sure that's lined up why well, haven't torn it up yet just to help line this nut up I always do this a few turns with your fingers you do not want to cross thread you don't want to cross thread there we go and this one a down down up into the injector connection just there come on there we go nut back on spanner let's tighten you in first so it's the top nut that i'm doing to secure it just like that electrics on electrics on let me tighten this bit up here nice and tight just double check that one i haven't disturbed it but just double check it top injector one there we go that's nice and tight then we're going to pop the gas back on um let's get some bubbles all right let's get some bubbles on that we are going to check this again now what would you do here gas engineers would you do a full tightness test or just spray it like that how are you going to tell you what i'm doing i could just be doing that i might going to do a tightness test i don't know just want your opinions on it um right next step the next step because of that there that is deteriorating you might as well for the co all it's cost the customer is the cost of this the flu to it imagine if they call me back in like six months said yeah the ball is like playing up or whatever you take it off and this is gone and for the sake of that you already changed it so we've got a washer up here we're going to get out because we've got a new washer for that so wash it off and you put the new, the new washer back on All right, before we pull it back up, a bit of slip and grease, just to ease it going in. Never give me joy. Damage washers, just make your life hard, won't it? New one, just gonna rub a bit around there. It's pretty giving pretty tight to be honest with you. So, goes up into there. Does. It's just because it's got a new washer, it's pretty tight. You should be able to get over the lip of the sump. He says, there we go, just got it over that lip. Then it pulls in, down. There you go. That's that done. New sump cover. Let's get you in. Tighten that screw up. Tighten that screw up. Nearly there now, maybe. Get them out of the way. Last job. Condensate trap. Good opportunity to give that a clean out. Um, so, 
that bit there goes over that rubber there. It should push down like that and twist like this. He says, like that. Holes on round. Don't forget to reconnect your pump. Other than that, you'll turn it on and it'll overheat. It'll come up pump full. There we go. That is the sump all done. Now we've just got to do um, safety checks on this now to make sure it's all working as it should be. Make sure we've got no leaks at the back. The sump's all on. The readings are good. We have checked the flu in the loft last visit, but always check on every visit. You never know, do you? It's Christmas time. At the time of filming this, could have put some decorations up there, could have knocked stuff onto it. So we will go up there and check it. Any 26.9 checks. Um, yeah, there you go. That's the sump all done. So when I just put the condensate drop in, did you hear crunch and God knows what? It's because I should have cleaned the surface here. So I have took it back out, cleaned it, then I am going to put it back. So I've just got my analyzer on now. Boiler is fired up. I'm just going to sweep test around the back here. Just to see if we get any readings. Um, you'd be able to tell anyway, a mirror, if you've got a mirror, you steam up if you put it down the back, but I'm going to pop my alloys in, put it all the way around there, and I'm going to be looking for any readings at all on there, just to make sure it's all in properly. I'm 99.9% certain it is, but belt and braces, just do this quick sweep check, just to make sure, then carry on with the rest of our safety checks. The sweep test is okay, I'm just doing a fluid gas alloys, I will do one with the case on, I'm just doing one initially, just to make sure that Everything looks okay. Saving putting the case on twice. There we go. Just doing it in there with the case on just to make sure everything's okay. So there we go. All done. Um, like I said, ideological sums, they ain't that bad. Um, but the hardest part you're going to find is if you put one of these lobes on, it's getting the bloody thing off. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. Yeah. It just... Oh, no. There you go. Ideal logic sump, all sorted, all done. Um, hope that's helped you out watching how it's done in the real world. Um, yeah, hope you've learned something off that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.